Debits and credits are used to record business transactions which have a monetary impact on the financial statement of an organization. In today's video, we will see how we can create a debit and credit sheet in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a debit and credit sheet which I have already created in advance. On the extreme left hand side, we have got name of all the months. When we come to the right hand side, we have got date, day, month, particulars means all the expenses will be noted over here, debit amount, credit amount and the balance amount will be mentioned over here. Once we will enter the amount in debit or credit, it will be automatically picked up as an income or as an expense. On the top, total debit amount will be featured. After that, total credit amount will be featured and in the end, balance amount will be featured. If we want to check the debit or credit amount month wise, it can be done from here. Now we are able to see income and expenses or debit and credit of January. If we want to check the details of February, we will have to click on the month of February and February details will be featured. In case we want to check for the quarter, we will have to select the quarter and details of the quarter will be featured over here. Let's start creating a new sheet now. We will start from C6. Serial number, date, day, month, particulars, income slash expenses, debit amount, credit amount, balance amount. We will adjust the column size. We will select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. We will select this and we'll create borders. Now we will insert the formula for serial number and the formula will be plus or equal to subtotal bracket open we will use count a over here so we will select number three comma we will connect this with date so we will select the first date we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged is two we will select the same cell once again means d7 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter currently it's showing zero over here because date column is empty we will insert a date over here. We will click on the top. We will right click the mouse. Format cells. We will go to date and we will select a desired date format. Ok. We will take this in center. Now it's showing 1. We will drag this down. Once we drag it will show 1. So we will have to insert the criteria of if over here. If bracket open date is equal to 0 comma we want blank over here so we will insert double inverted comma twice comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down our formulas are over here but we are not able to see anything day the formula for day will be plus or equal to text bracket open we will select our first date comma double inverted comma D, 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 D means D four times, double inverted comma close, bracket close and we will hit enter. We will drag this down. Where the date cells are empty, it's showing Saturday. So we will insert the criteria of if over here. If bracket open date is equal to zero, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, comma, we will come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will drag this down. Month. For months, we will create drop down. So we will select this. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here, we will select list. Source. We will type name of all the months over here from January to December. And we will do OK. So the drop down list got created. We will select Jan from here. Particulars. We will make this column size bigger. We will insert few dates over here. I'll just drag this down. So our serial number as well as days got filled automatically. I'll select this. We'll click over here on the yellow icon and we'll click on ignore error. And the green part got vanished. Months we will have to select from the drop down. All the dates are of January, so I'll drag this. 
particulars i'll insert some income as well as expenses salary received rent received salary given to staff rent given to shop owner all the income will be mentioned in credit and all the expenses will be mentioned in debit salary received is income so we will put this in credit 15000 i'll click on the top and we'll take all the things in center rent received its income so i'll put it over here in credit amount salary given to staff so it's an expense so we will have to mention this in debit amount Rent given to shop owner, it's an expense, so we will have to mention this in debit. We will select all three, we will right click the mouse, format cells, number, use thousand separators and decimal places we want two. So we will do OK. So we will have to do one thing, we will insert a row over here, insert, we will drag the formula over here, we will make this as 1st of January, particulars, it will be opening balance. We will put opening balance as credit amount, it's 10,000. Balance amount plus or equal to, we will select our opening balance and will hit enter. Now we will have to insert formula for rest of the things. So the formula will be plus or equal to opening balance minus debit amount plus credit amount and we will hit enter. We will take all the things in center. We will drag this down and we can see the amount over here and we really don't want this. If the entry will not be there, it should be blank. So we will have to insert few criteria over here. I'll click on the top means over here from where our formula starts. I'll double click over here and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open and bracket open debit amount is equal to blank for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice comma if the credit amount will also be blank is equal to double inverted comma twice bracket close we want blank to be over here so we will put comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down so if the entry of debit and credit will be blank our balance amount will be showing blank we will do some changes in the formula of serial number income or expenses we will insert a formula over here so the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open debit amount is greater than zero comma we want to show it as expense so we will put expense over here double inverted comma close and if it's not greater than zero we want income to be over here so we will put double inverted comma income double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we will drag this down. If the particulars are blank, it's showing income. So we will insert another criteria over here of AND. So we will go to the formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of AND. If bracket open AND bracket open debit amount is equal to blank. For blank, we will insert double inverted comma twice comma if the credit amount is also blank is equal to double inverted comma twice bracket close comma we want blank to be over here comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down now if the debit or credit amount is blank it's showing blank over here on the top we have got opening balance so we will insert one more criteria over here of if, if bracket open particulars is equal to double inverted comma opening balance, double inverted comma close. We want to show opening balance. 
So we will type opening balance once again inside double inverted comma, double inverted comma, close, comma. We will come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will drag this down. We will click on top. We'll go to the conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to over here. We will type income for income. We will select green color and we'll do OK. We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule equal to this time. We will type expense. We will select red color and we'll do OK. We will go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule equal to and this time we will type opening balance. We will click on the drop down, custom format, fill and from here we will select a desired color. We will go to font and we will change the font color. We will make it bold and we will do OK. OK. So our opening balance is over here. Now we will click anywhere inside our table and we'll press Ctrl A and the whole data will be selected. Now we will press Ctrl T. A small box will pop up. Here we will get the option of my table has headers. We will do OK. And a very beautiful table got created. We can change our table styles from here. We'll remove filter buttons. We'll increase the size of the headers. We'll increase font size. We'll adjust the column size. We will select from C till K and we'll highlight it. We'll make it bigger. We will select from C till H and we'll merge it. This will be debit and credit sheet. We will change the font color. We'll make the font size bigger. We'll change the font style. Now we will select from D till H and we'll merge it. We'll change the color. We'll change the font color. We'll give border. Over here we will type income to be credited. Full stop. Expenses to be debited. We'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. Over here we will type total debit. Total credit, total balance. We will change the font color. We'll make it white and we'll do it bold. Total debit, the formula will be plus or equal to subtotal bracket open. We will select number nine because number nine is sum, comma. We will select the first cell. We'll press function F4. And the cell will be locked is to we will go down and we select a cell where we want to close our table or our data i'll take the number till 100 or 107 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now if the data increases you will not have to change your formula we will go on top we will right click the mouse format cells we will take this up We'll go to currency and from here we will select currency of our country. Okay. Now we will copy this, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. We'll change the cell reference. Earlier it was I, now it's J. And we'll hit enter. Total balance. The formula for total balance will be plus or equal to lookup bracket open 2 comma 1 divided by is number bracket open we will select this from top we'll close the bracket comma we will select this once again we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got our total balance over here and the total balance is the last figure so if the figures will keep on increasing, it will be showing last figure only. We will copy this. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse, paste special. And we'll select the format. Okay. We will select this. And we'll insert a thick border outside. 
we will insert few icons over here for total debit, total credit and total balance. I'll go to insert, illustrations, icon and over here I'll type money or cash. We got lots of icons of money. I'll select this for total debit. I'll select this for total credit and we'll select this for total balance or balance amount. Insert. We'll click outside and we'll place the desired icons. Now I'll click on the icon, we'll press shift and we'll press down arrow key and the icon will be smaller. We'll drag this and we'll make it a little bit bigger. We'll go to graphic format, rotate, flip horizontal. We'll go to graphic fill and we'll change the color. Now we'll click on the second icon, we'll press shift and we'll press down arrow key. We'll reposition this. For this also, press shift and down arrow key. We'll change color of this. We will change color of this also. We'll make this red. Now we will select all three. We'll right click the mouse, format object. We will go to the center and we'll give it a shadow. We'll close this. So our this thing is done. We will make this bigger. We'll click anywhere inside the table. We'll go to insert, slicer, and from here we will select the month. We'll do OK. And our slicer got inserted. Currently we have got the month of January, so it's showing January and rest are blank. As soon as the months will be inserted, it will be showing name of all the months. I'll insert few months over here. And just notice the slicer. We have got name of the months over here. I'll drag this down. We'll go to slicer and we'll change the color of the slicer. We will make it orange. Now, if we want to check the details of January, we will have to click on January and we are able to see the debit, credit and balance amount of January. Whenever we will click on February, we will be able to see the details of February. Total balance over here is 20,500 but we are not able to see anything in balance amount because we haven't done any entry for February but the balance amount is not going to change anyways. In case we want to check for the multiple months, we will have to select the multiple months and all the details of those months will be visible. So in this way, you can prepare your debit and credit sheet in Excel very easily. I'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.